Auto insurance. You've got to have it. It's one of your biggest expenses, but you probably don't understand it. Here's three things you need to know about car insurance. We all have a duty to drive safe, but when we cause an accident, we may be in breach of that duty. That breach allows someone to sue you because you're liable, which is why this coverage is called liability. Your liability coverage can provide legal counsel and payment to other parties in a lawsuit. This allows your insurance company to pay for damages that you are liable for rather than paying it out of your hard-earned wages and your assets. If you do not have liability coverage or your liability coverage is inadequate, the court could garnish a quarter of your wages and or require you to liquidate your assets. As I like to say, we want you to write the little checks in your monthly premium and we write the big checks in settling lawsuits. Personal injury protection, also known as PIP, is required by Michigan law. But how does it work? Well, let's say you were in an auto accident and you were physically harmed. You would file a claim with your personal auto insurance carrier. The PIP coverage in your policy would pay for any medical treatment associated with that auto accident. This could include medical expenses, work loss benefits, replacement services, and expenses for funerals and burial costs. There are two variations of PIP, primary and excess. Choosing the right one largely depends upon how your health insurance policy is set up. Primary means that your auto policy will pay the medical bills first instead of your health insurance. Excess means that your private health insurance will be billed first and then the auto policy would pick up the costs otherwise not covered by your health insurance. Bottom line is, if you're in an accident, we want to repair your car. But even more so, we want to cover the expenses for repairing you. Physical damage is what people typically think of when it comes to auto insurance. You know, protecting that chunk of steel that sits in your driveway every night. The most common question I get from clients about physical damage is what's the difference between comprehensive and collision? Collision is when two cars hit each other, or your car is moving and it hits something stationary, such as a curb, garage, tree. Because of Michigan's no-fault law, you are responsible for the collision damage to your vehicle, no matter if you cause the accident or not. Comprehensive is any covered claim other than two cars colliding. This includes deer, fire, theft, a tree falling on your car, or even a cracked windshield. There are many different factors that play into deciding whether you have collision or comprehensive coverage. Some of those factors are, do you have a loan on your vehicle? Or maybe you live in an area with a very large deer population. The important part is that you're having that conversation with your agent. I just shared three things you need to know about car insurance. After hearing this, most of my clients ask, how come no one's ever explained this to me? Well, that's why we exist. It's to help you understand your coverage. Send us a Facebook message and let's have this conversation together.